Okay, boys, it's time to grow up. Uh, my wife and I have been in the ministry this fall, September the 9th, will be 34 years. And over the years, people have come to us with problems. That's just part of the territory. Here lately, in the last few years, a problem that I see transpiring and getting, it's, it's getting worse and worse is young ladies coming to talk to me and my wife. I never counsel with a young lady or a lady without my wife present <clears throat> or in the room uh, for obvious reasons. Well, what we're seeing is young ladies coming brokenhearted because they're young ladies coming into womanhood. They're wanting to go out with a man or a young man, and but they come in from a date and they realize they've been out with yet another boy. And like my neighbor, he's gone on to be with the Lord now, Mr. Frosty Williamson, he, he always had a saying, he said, don't send a boy to do a man's job. And so I say amen to that. <clears throat> hey guys, it's time to grow up. If you're 25 and you take your girlfriend out and you use your mama's debit card to go by the, the ATM and get cash to take her out, she knows it's your mama's debit card because you ain't got no job. Get out and get you a job. The Bible says in Proverbs that you increase by labor. Or worse yet, don't let your lady pay for your lunch because she went to college and got a degree and she makes four times or much money as you do, and so she, you let her pay for everything. I mean, seriously? Come on, man. Grow up. Be a man. Don't be a boy. Girlfriends, ladies, let me tell you something. If he's lazy on Monday... He gonna be lazy on Wednesday. If he's lazy on Wednesday, he's gonna be lazy on Friday. If he's lazy on Friday, you know what? He gonna be lazy on Sunday morning. You gonna be getting the kids ready to go to church by yourself. <clears throat> and you know what? He's gonna say, "I'm gonna, I don't feel good. I'm gonna lay around here." When you get back, he's gonna be going fishing with some of his homeboys. He hadn't grown up yet. He may be 40 years old, maybe 30 years old, but he's still a boy. I know some grown men. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with them. I loved my mama. I was sitting with her when she took her last breath. I, I'm a preacher of the gospel. I preached her funeral. I loved a mama. Some said when I was a little kid, I was a mama's boy. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're 30, you ain't supposed to be a mama's boy. Okay? You got a wife. You got a family. So act like a man. Love and respect your mama. But you ain't married to your mama. Okay? And so, hey, girls... Look for a man. Don't think that he's going to automatically grow up when y'all get back from the honeymoon. Because he's not. All right? Look for you a man. Pray that God will send you a man. Adam wanted to work. Okay? He disobeyed God, so he went to work making him some fig leaves and just jacked everything all up. So God put him out of the garden. First, he he, God shed some uh, blood and clothed him in righteousness. Thank God for the grace of God, because if it had been for the first Adam, we'd all be going to hell. But because of the second Adam, Jesus Christ, we can go to heaven by the grace of God. But in the meantime, because of Adam, God said, you're going to earn it by the sweat of your brow. Now, I have learned, I'm also a business owner, and I have learned that these, every how many it is, 30, 40, 50 million people that's unemployed, half of them don't want a job. They're going to go over to mama's and get something to eat, and that, they're going to lay around and this and that, where they don't pay enough. Hey, whatever they pay is more than you're making now. If they pay a dollar, that's a dollar more than you had. So listen. Ladies, wait till God sends you a man. Don't marry a boy, because he'll always be a boy. It's time, boys, for us to grow up. And you got to grow up and be a man, because if you got a son and a daughter, you got to give them a good example. Now, it's time to grow up, be a man, stand up, stand up straight, take your family to church. <clears throat> and if, you ain't, if you're not married yet, girls, don't settle. You ain't going to find a perfect guy. My wife married me. We got married. Trust me, I was not perfect 35 years ago. I guess this August, uh, yes, uh, August of 81. This is uh, August, be August of 86. This is March of 86. So 35 years ago, she married me. <clears throat> and I'm, God's still working on me. I'm nowhere near perfect, all right? But I've done my best to be a man and make good decisions and the best decisions I could and work with what I had. Listen to me, guys. It's time to grow up and quit embarrassing the male race. Give mama her debit card back and you go get you a job.
And when you take your lady out on a date, you spend your money. Don't let her spend hers, okay? Wait till you get married, then y'all can have it a joint a checking account. But up to that point in time, you take care of her. Be a gentleman. Keep it straight. Do right. Quit shaming us. Grow up and be a man, because that's what God wants you to do. That's what the will of God is for you. So, hey, grow up and get it straight, and I promise you, I promise you, God will bless you for the effort. God bless you. Have a good day. You can, If you enjoy this, give us a thumbs up. I thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. And be blessed. Subscribe to our channel as we put these videos out, um, you know, several times a week. And I, I, I trust they're a blessing. If you have a question, put it in the comments. If you want to know something, you want a prayer request, put it in the comments. We'll be glad to pray for you because we love you. That's why we do this. God bless you.